Ladies and gents, welcome to a very pleasing on the eye small map. The smallest outcrop ever. Outcrop, I think a map originally introduced at Red Bull way back in the day. Has been seen in some other tournaments, but the players are on this tiny little hill through the middle. And then uh, they can move to either side to get hunt or to get stone and to get gold. Now, there's barely space for houses for them here, but we've got Prisma in the blue. He's won two games in this little series, and then we've got uh, Koreans for Beery in the red. And already, Prisma trying to steal some things here. We're going to see a lot of aggression here, I think, because there's lots of boars. I don't know if they looked before they got into the map, but there's more boars than, I think, a standard outcrop game. Or actually, no, a standard outcrop game has the boars on the outside, but because the map is big, it is hard to get to them. Because it's a small map, it changes it entirely. And Prisma bringing in two at once here. And even taking off some HP with the TC just to make it easier. So how many boars is that? Is this um, 13 total boars? And maybe I'm missing one. But that'll certainly give these guys a big edge to get into the next stage. Plus you've got the uh, pigs. Plus you've got any deer around to push in, so... Once again, reminder, the TCs are nerfed, so TCs have half the range of a normal game. Still, though, does damage, as you can see there for Beery, losing most of his HP, which hurts him. Um, any building, for that matter, that has ranged attack uh, is nerfed. But we still have seen towers between these two. I feel like some walling from the side of the map, like right here, for example, towards the rock terrain would be really nice. It just funnels... Your opponent through the middle. I could see towers being strong towards the middle to maybe deny some stone and gold. Like, actually, Prisma's stone and gold are on the back. He might not even need a mining camp for that. But I mean, Beery can still take stone and gold. <laughs> I don't know about the gold, <laughs> but he can at least take the stone uh, if he needs to. And then has this gold too, right? So this gold is still an option. So, the last two games, we've seen Castle Age be an option. And, I mean, Koreans, they get the Guard Tower upgrade for free in Castle. That could be good. Uh, their unique unit, the War Wagon's really strong. The Aztecs, their monks are amazing in Castle. So, with all the food out here, I do think Fast Castle should be an option. We'll see what ends up happening here. Uh, Sarlacc, thanks for the six months, and no thank you for calling me daddy. Sparky Knight, thanks for the 17, if I didn't say so already. Hmm. What do you guys think? Will Beery find this gold in the corner? Yes or no? I'm going to go with yes, because Beery is Koreans. Villagers with Koreans have a lot of vision, which will become relevant if Beery goes to mine this stone. But uh, any other sieve, I think you could make a strong argument that Beery would never find that. I think in the previous game, Beery had 98% of the map scouted and Prisma had 100. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, odds, odds are pretty good they're going to find all the resources, I guess. Uh, already, Beery's seen most of the map. But yeah, um, th these are around the populations where you start to think about what your strategy is going to be. And Prisma just won the previous game with lots of archers, so he could be thinking about a similar thing here. And he's got plenty of food. Starts with a little bit of extra gold with Aztecs, which is always nice. And he... Oh, he's missing a building. Yeah, he forgot to make a building. Uh, this happens a lot in a normal game when you're playing as Mongols. Because you just get the food so quickly. I can't tell you how many times it's happened with me with Mongols. I'm like, yeah, 500 food, let's go. And then I didn't build my buildings yet. So it does actually delay his clickup. And Beery... Ooh, he sees the boars being brought in. But yeah, he's going to have to run away with that scout because the eagle from Prisma is here and Prisma clicks up. Actually, I actually think if Prisma is trying to go archers, he doesn't even want food right now. So I think he's going to kill this boar. And then he's just going to leave it rot there. Let's see. Because you want more on wood. Maybe he'll just keep like one vill on the food or something. But 
You need a barracks and then an archer range and then the archers, which is a lot of wood. Can these maps be played with more than two people? I don't think they're made for more than two people, no. Uh, and the original map pack that we had is called Ultra Small Map Pack. But then I switched map makers uh, from Krakenmeister, who's the one who helped me originally, and then he stopped working on it. So I've been working with T West, and I the map that the map pack that will have most of them now is more small maps. If you're looking for this and you want to try them out, uh, this is is this villager about to get sandwiched? <laughs> kind of felt like it. And Beery kills the boar. Okay. They'll probably break with more than two people. Sounds like a great time, though, right? Sounds like a great thing for other people to test for us. All right. It's been a bit since we've seen a tower rush as a strategy, but Beery is Koreans. Extra vill line of sight. Uh, mine stone faster. And there's a lot of choke points on this map. So I think, like, blocking the chokes... I think blocking the choke points is, is going to be really, really helpful. Uh, to prevent archers from getting to your eco, right? By the way, he did see this goal with the villager line of sight. It's crazy how much that villager line of sight helps here. Okay. Beery wasn't able to complete the tower. He ended up deleting it. Prisma's just fighting it back. And Prisma's making his first archer, so... This should be awkward for Beery, who's actually researching wheelbarrow? Wheelberry? No. <laughs> um, and that'll make his bills faster. We, we saw him do that in a game he won earlier in the day, but I have a lot of belief in Prisma and his archer micro. Assuming he can make more archers, which he can't do right now because he's housed. Hmm, I think Beery might shift plans a little bit and just go tower defense and maybe think about Castle Age. I, like, two towers here is really nice position, and then maybe you build two towers over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just kind of chill. You have to try and avoid the archers, of course. I think Prisma is going to vill rush down these towers. This is being so aggressive right now, but maybe not. Yeah, we have a sieve draft for this, so it is pick sieve. They've drafted sieves. I can show that in between games, if you remind me. So we've treated this kind of like a tournament in that sense. I didn't want players to just be playing the same sieves all the time. I think it's nice to have different sieves against each other. So Beery just randomly attacking a house here. That won't make progress because of the archer. And then here, Beery wasn't able to get the second tower down. So he might be pushed off of gold. Which then brings us over to this gold, but this gold is kind of blocked by the trees. You'd have to play a really awkward mining camp there. So Prisma's got archers, Prisma's microing, and Prisma's sending villagers in after towers. But these towers are within range of each other, and Prisma did send some weak vills. Oh, but Prisma also walled these vills! Prisma walled all these vills! Oh, that is such a sick play. Those vills are dead. Beery getting absolutely flexed on here. And so the Eco KD is going to be 5 to 1 here from Prisma. Very well played. It's nice to see that the towers have a counter play. Or that there's a counter play for the towers. Because the first two games were all towers from Beery. Again, we've seen the players realize that there's other things you could do, I feel. Uh, tower, though, will likely go up for Beery. If he feels he needs it. And he can at least go back to gold now. Again, you cannot build on the rock terrain. So you, you have to build on the grass and the towers are just so low range right now. It's real costly to build this, in my opinion. Like this many towers? It's not cheap. Also, Prisma bringing in another boar. Save that one for later. Nice job. I mean, that's going to be great. I really think from here, if Prisma tries to think about Castle Age and maybe some Siege, it could be really strong. This is pre-recorded, and T90 is actually Beery. They are the same player, says Neok. <laughs> I could... This is not pre-recorded. I'm speaking over it. I would have had to have predicted that people would recognize me playing as Beery, and then um, 
uh, recorded over it in advance. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Yes, I'm casting this game live. This is Beery. Not me. And, oh man, Prisma says, screw your freaking towers. I'm sick of this, bro. I'm sick of this. And Beery is going to be kicking himself for not preemptively building two. Because I think before he was like, okay, fought away that army. Maybe I'm okay. I don't need it. Nope, you need it. And that's just more vil kills here. We're about to have a 3-3 three, three series here, folks. Crazy. I mean, that's what it feels like. Right now, Beery is getting really struggling. The tower idea is great. If maybe you get to Castleage and get Guard Tower for free. But Beery just needs to make some army here. That's what people wanted. All those YouTube comments wanted army. After the first couple dozen small maps, which is tower, 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 and then a little bit more tower. Then it might get to a point where people say, um, we don't like archers anymore, T90. <laughs> so then, <laughs> look, look at this mess. Uh, maybe, maybe we make a tweak there. I don't know. I, I like, I think where it's at now is great because archers are only strong on certain types of maps. Towers could still be strong. We've seen fast freaking imps. Hmm. But I, I think also Prisma has warmed up. By the way, fun fact, Beery's been playing this game. Beery's like close to 40 years old. So anyone who says you can't be fast and aggressive when you're on the older side uh, is incorrect. Um, Prisma is like 16 or 17. So Beery was playing this game before Prisma was actually alive, which is a pretty interesting fact. Prisma is... If I were to, uh, well, I may am going to eventually make a video, but I didn't have time of like the top five, like young talents that could, you know, potentially make it big in our scene. Prisma is on that list for me. He's really talented and he's young, of course, and those things go a long way. So Prisma is 18 and Beery is 38. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it looks like youth is winning this game here on Outcrop. Really fun map. I think these maps should have a playability score. And they should have a... Um, they should have a, a... Ranking on how cool they look. And I would say this map... Obviously, there's a lot of stuff that's happened now. Mm, I would give it a 7 out of 10. I think it looks really cool. Oh man, Beery is is going to be castle dropped, I think, by Prisma. Prisma's all over this stone. Where do you even build the castle? Is there even a castle spot? <laughs> I don't think there's actually a good castle spot. You have to place it, like, over here. Uh. Okay, he's going to go for crossbow and bodkin, which is expected. Beery just holding on. <laughs> He deletes his barracks. He deletes two houses. I don't think that solves it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not really a castle drop. It's not what you would normally want, but it is a castle. And it will be impossible for Beery to take down. And it does cover a lot of this left-hand side. Not to mention the crossbows are still out here. Like, Beery is working off of 2,000 fewer resources. Has no army really feels like an impossible task right now for him. And Prisma has learned. Get to Castle Age, throw everything onto wood, throw everything onto gold, and that's your answer. Whether it be Siege, look at that, he even shot the pigs. Whether that be Siege, or whether that be Crossbows, that seems to be his play right now. Now, Guard Tower comes in instantly, which is great. Um, but still, it has the limited range. Beery was dominating this show match, but he can't get the job done there. Prisma played outcrop very well there. I actually think what Prisma did, if you followed every game between these two, I think the adjustment that Prisma has made has been focus on the economy. And if you go back to the very early stages, he was able to get those two boars right away. That was such an important part of this. Those were kind of neutral boars. So he brought in all that food on top of the pigs, and then he had the other boars as well. And he just basically 
saved up so much food. Okay. And then on aggression, too. Like, it was a nice amount of aggression in Feudal, but it wasn't... He didn't try and end the game in Feudal. Still had plans for Castle Age. It was very smooth. Very smooth play. I like the idea of going to stone and dropping a castle, even if the castles have limited range. Still castles a castle. And then, of course, with, like, some sieves, you can actually make useful units out of the castle. The Jags wouldn't be that helpful here, but... I mean, maybe it could send a message. So, that's outcrop. Um, these two very evenly matched, and Prisma just had very good economy there. The towers... Funny, they feel incredibly strong, or they feel so incredibly weak, and they felt weak in that one there. But if we didn't have the adjusted towers, the towers would have been OP. <laughs> So maybe maybe Beery just forgot for a moment that the towers didn't have as much range.